Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two, and no, I did not stuff those eight children into the animatronic suits in 1978. And welcome back to. Dangan Rampa. Dangan Rampa. This isn't an AMS, ASMR channel. Stop whispering sultry nothings in the mic. Could be. No. Last time. Mukuro Ikusaba. The hidden 16th student lying somewhere in school. Watch out for her. This time, uh, we're, we're distracting Mono Boner. <laughs> don't, ask, don't ask me why I said that. I don't know why I said that. What does that even mean? I don't know. Is he supposed to have two? <laughs> Is he part shark? No, his boner is half black is that and white what too. Is that is that what happens when he when sharks get erectile dysfunction? Only one of them can get hard. We're distracting him. Kyoko's doing some shit. Hey, Mano, Mano Kuma, you can see me, right? Get out here! I've got a bone to pick with you. That's why I said Mono Boner. <laughs> What? Because bones in in the sentence. <laughs> uh, fuck off. Then a few moments later, Monokuma appears. Well, well, well. This is a surprise. You be the one to call me out. Hey. Hey. By the way. Huh? Most suspicious. What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse, just the two of you, in the middle of the night. Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? Uh, so warm and wet, so wet and warm. I bet you guys. Remove, remove to confirm with local and interna uh, international censorship laws. Monokuma, what the fuck did you say? I love her, didn't you? I, th I think the joke is that he said the remove to conform with. Oh, he actually said that? Yes. Like spam to. Like, sp I was literally thinking that. Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. You were the one who egged on the man's fantasy. Get the fuck. <laughs> because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation, far away from X-rated X pilots. Floyds. Floyds. Oh. Oh. So is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye. Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Gotcha ass. Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. <laughs> anyway, you wanted you went to all this trouble to get me out here, so what do you want? Oh, well, um there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether I'm a Mademoiselle or a dude fella. Actually. But in their kingdom, there is no male or female. That is wrong. Um, actually, there is. What? Seriously? My entire and, existence. And, but what am I? Kind of That's enough. I'll get stuck if I don't if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No, no way it's possible and all, but is that seriously why you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me! You got a hundred megaton. You gotta be a hundred megaton freaking kidding me! You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or air sign breeding tips. I had to make a split-second decision whether or not to go through it, that I... Good, 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 good. 
There's not even another Earth sign here. Mono boner. God damn it. Well, I mean, you can always dress for the onesie. Yeah. This is crazy. Oh, are all people so poisonous and now you see you? God, you're annoying. Fine, I'll tell you, it's a key and a... That's it. What was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in yourself. Making me dredge all the way out here for that. I like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. Next time you sell me for something so stupid, I'll open your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Yeah. I like to imagine as he went down, it just sounded like a Morse code machine. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine. Right? I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Brought to you by Spike June Soft Company Limited. What's on that TV? It's an anime. What's on that TV? Is, is I know what that is. That's foreshadowing. Why? That's the game after two. What is? Why is there no dialogue? Oh. I found the hide text button. Oh, we'll continue. Oh, that was it. Oh. Uh, another? What? No, just, it, yeah. I guess it just stops at that screen. Now, 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 now it's a real mm -hmm. Super stylish, super fast. The super stylish, super fashionable the game is created by Spike Coonsoft. I don't think I said that correct. Chunsoft. Alright, Spike Chunsoft? And we've gotta buy it now! You have to recommend it to your friends, too! Ding dong, ding dong. A body has been. Imagine you wake up. A body has been discovered. My body feels so heavy this morning. Must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. I miss our friends. Remember Taka? I remember Taka. You're one little. At the oh, sorry, Papa, so that's Papa. you. Taking my characters. I don't have any more! I have what? Hiro and Kyoko? And Monokuma. That counts. Great, I have a sociopathic robot bear, a dude who smokes so much weed his brain cells are green, and a detective who has amnesia. You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? I don't recall giving you permission. Uh, I, I just thought, I mean, since a day had passed, it had maybe reset. Sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign for my neck that says Batgirl. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. Toko. 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 
Falco. Falco. As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. Uh, it's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her since this morning. Not nah, cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, or anything. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday, and she's not going to show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh yeah, still got her key, right? What's this? Are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? Ah! What do you want now? Hey! I'm right, right? You're only where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Um, well, it's hard to say. Uh, you don't know either. What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here. To try and prod us for information. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they, and they name some indie bull crap? This is I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness. Looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Mm-hmm. Could she have been right about that? So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? We have no idea. And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. You're serious! Hmm, I see. Well, fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Senores, sayonara, suckers! As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Really, actually, could she have gone? Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can he know where she is? How can she keep... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the weed getting to him. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. Somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Free time! Free time! Free time! Free time! Free time! Free time! Free time? Free time? Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. <laughs> yeah! No Kyoko. So, um... Hina. Hina? Or we could try, uh, we got very, Toko. We got very few options. Toko? I think we're closest to Toko. We are closest to Toko. Which do you want to do, Toko or Hina? Toko. Toko. I want to try to finish as many people as we can, which is looking like two. So that's great. I even made sure we hung out with Sakura a lot because I knew we would be able to, to finish her. Oh. Finish her. Finish her. Oh. Not the joke I was going for. Sir, get your mind out of the gutter. Says you, Mr. Sewage Man! <laughs> and I'm feeling like the pen. We got a pen, huh? 
Marvelous fountain pen. <laughs> I'm already engaged to Master, so I can't go on a date with you. I don't mind if you think about me. Mm. Hey, you. <gasps> yes, another scene. Oh. I could feel Toko's silent pressure on me, stronger than ever. Take responsibility. Huh? Huh? Responsibility? Me? I've been trapped in here too long. There's nothing to do. The boredom's started killing me. So I thought maybe I could write my next novel, The Pinnacle of Romance Literature. But I can't do it. Huh? Why not? I've got writer's block. My powers of delusion are in a complete slump. This has never happened before. What caused it? You did, when you opened up all those old wounds. You're blaming me? I can't take it anymore. No more writing for me. I'm retiring. Retiring? But that's such a waste. You've got so much talent. No, I'm done. I was never all that good in the first place. And now I don't have the motivation or willpower anymore, either. Damn, it's like she's haunted by all those ghosts of her past. Listen, Toko, why not take this opportunity to look back at why you started doing this in the first place? What's your problem? Why I started? Yeah, why you started writing at all. Reflect on that, and I'm sure it'll give you at least a little motivation. It all started with a single love letter. A love letter? <laughs> when I was in elementary school, I fell in love for the first time. He was a friend of mine. There weren't any feelings at first. He was the only boy I could talk to without getting hung up. But then he told me his family was moving to Shikoku. As soon as he said that, I could feel my chest start to tighten. At first, I didn't even understand what I was feeling. It was a total mystery. But I was too embarrassed to tell him how I felt directly. So instead, I wrote him a love letter. And then... And then? The next day, the day he left, I saw he'd hung the letter up on the school bulletin board. What? I got to talk to him again later on. Apparently, he hated the fact that I talked to him so much. All the other kids used to make fun of him for it. I guess that was his revenge, to show the world my letter right before running off. That's the most miserable first love story I've ever heard. But one of the teachers that read the letter said I had a talent for writing. And that's what sparked my interest in writing. So that's what happened, huh? Damn. Uh, and now I dug up that terrible memory. It's all your fault. All this trauma. It's all pointless. I'll never write us another sublime love story ever again. Well then, why don't you try writing something besides romance stuff? Huh? What I mean is, why don't you just write about what you're actually feeling? Right from the heart. You're saying I should take these feelings of anger and emptiness and turn them into a novel? Honestly, I think that'd probably do her a lot of good. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Fine, I'm gonna do it. Do we get a book? Right from the heart. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Toko dragged her screeching laughter behind her as she ran off. Well, she definitely seems motivated. I'm frightened. But is that a good thing? I feel lightheaded. Oh. That was a lot of talking to yourself, huh? Oh. Skill points. Nice. Let's check a report card. Oh. He might be getting sick, the poor boy. So, Sakura ended at 6. 
All right, let's do Toko one more time. See if we can't get, see if we can't max her out. We'll see. You notice how she's always with Byakuya. Hmm. And you know what? I don't think she's ever gonna get out of that. Her character trait has been decided. I'm going to kill Byakuya. Makoto, are you leering at me? I... Desperate for attention, really? Okay, I'm gonna see here what was she like. Skizzers, maybe? No, because Jack likes that. I think she likes this. I think she likes a swing. Oh shit, there's a few rings. Oh. Um, what does she like? Um. I'm gonna give her the, the love ring. Yeah. <laughs> Makoto, could you come to my room? Huh? I want to show you something. I'll be waiting there. We did it! We did it! Let's go! What did we do? We finished her. Finish her. Uh... I'm frightened for what this, for what, in context, that means. That's not like her. They just talk to someone so openly like that, and she wants me to come to her room? Well, I better do what she asked. I quickly made my way to Toko's room. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Damn. That's a lot of girls. But don't get the wrong idea. I didn't ask you here for anything like that. If you lay a hand on me, I'll bite my own tongue off and choke on the blood till I'm dead. Trust me, that's not going to happen. Anyway, what's going on? You said you had something you wanted to show me? I was hoping you would read this. Toko handed me a massive stack of thick paper. I saw handwriting on the top sheet, neat letters packed close together. Is this? What's your problem? I took your advice and started writing. I wanted you to be the first one to read it. Thanks. I started scanning the text. A few seconds later, I was still reading. The words kept flowing into my head, the scenery unfolding before my very eyes. It's good. This is really good, Toko. I don't know if I ever read anything this good. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> but it's really dark, super dark. Reading it kind of makes me want to die. You know what they call the type of writing where the author has directly experienced the subject matter? It's a kind of naturalistic style popular in Japan. Katai Tayama's futon started it all. Novels that use the author's own experiences. I'm pretty sure I learned about that at some point. I novel. Bill Dong's Roman. Really? I don't know. Okay. You said the wrong thing. I, I had no wordly clue. I novel. Correct. Mine's still a work in progress, though. But as soon as it's finished, it's going to become a shocking masterpiece that'll change the face of the I novel forever. Knowing her, she might actually be right about that. It's definitely some dark, heavy stuff, but it's the kind of thing you just can't put down. It will be a masterpiece. I have no doubt about that. And it's all thanks to you, Makoto. Why did it start playing ominous music? Thanks to you, I... I'm so embarrassed. I'll express my appreciation in the form of a poem. A poem? 
on a locked and rusted door. I dug my nails in and dragged them down. Warm blood mixed with old rust flowing down my wrist. Coils like a snake embracing my body. You watch me, a smile in your eyes. You watch. Time runs away, and you with it. You leave me drowning in a red sea. <laughs> well, now do you understand how I feel? Um. Hmm. I'm not sure I do. God, I hope not. But if it makes her happy, that's all that matters. Can I say that because I finally started to understand her? Even if only a little bit? <laughs> so, that's it for now. You've helped me find my motivation. Now I have to do my best to bring the story to an end. And when there's someone there to support me for that... What's your problem? That's what you call a friend, right? <laughs> friend. We did it! We did it! I never imagined I'd hear Toko say that word. But yes, Toko and I had finally become true friends. Yes! Now get out before you decide to lunge for me after all. Skill or be skilled. Cleared the 20 SP threshold. Nice. And if this were f school mode, we would have gotten her underwear. So when we get to the school mode, do we just... Those who I, we've already we might automatically up? get... Toko kicked me out of our room, so I headed back to my own. Why the ominous ass music? I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. Were we drugged? By what? I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say... I was restless. <laughs> At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. That voice. It's so familiar. It's me. I... understand. I... understand. I should... understand everything. What? My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Huh? What am I trying to say? Oh, this is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. What? What? My dream just now... What? So strange. Huh? What the fuck? Makoto, get out my ear. Damn. Ah? Kyoko? Did Kyoko just whip somebody's ass? What the... What did you... What did you say? Uh, fuck is Makoto, going on? Makoto, are you okay? I, I don't think he is, no. <laughs> Again? Bueno, bueno, bueno. Hey 
Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending, happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. Yeah. A uh, body. Good. Get ready. You know, I don't think that happens a single time in the series. Mm. Missed opportunity. What? To have like soon as you wake up a body announcement. <laughs> It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. <sighs> I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy, they had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either, it was also a dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right. I remember last night. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I, I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then... Creepy creeper. Coming to get ya. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. It felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away watching my body move on its own. And because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember... Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? It was a strange dream. No. Was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Evidence. Check the knife. Hey. Check the knife. <gasps> then, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot that was there. Ah. Uh, mm. It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means... The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. Then I can talk to everyone else about it. What the hell just happened? There's a body in the dining hall. Nope. There's a body. Ah, Makoto! You know what? Do you want Hina? No! Because he's a girl? You sexist man. No, because I find it funny that you have to talk to yourself half the time. It's quite funny, man. My voice! Weep. Ah, uh, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky's blue. Hey, Hina. And I get high-pitched ass voices. They hurt. Um. You really had me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Worried? I mean... Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. 
We thought maybe you'd been, you know. I mean, not that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would wanna, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come to get me? Did something happen? Um, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Let's go meet up with everyone else. Then they can tell you all about it. So, is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? I lost that rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. Why are we in the gym? The gym? The entire night? What? What? Why are we in the gym? Only bad things happen in the gym. Yeah. Dad, I'm scared. Pretty much, you're not my father. Well. Here he is. Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. This is worse than being late for your wedding, birth of your son, and your own funeral, all at once! Hero, what are you on about, man? What? Look, my dad pulled some bad stuff. Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal. <clears throat> you made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed? Just like Hina said, everyone was there, besides Kyoko. And then I noticed, they'd formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was... What the...? Before I could catch myself, I cried out. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not even faced. Relax. There's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Hmm. I broke the dick. Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto. Cause that's how much I like you. Hmm. Yeah, I can find this little fella laying around and we tore her apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still, Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. <laughs> it was Master's stroke of genius. A chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. Hmm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal ro remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? I thought maybe he'd malfunctioned, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break so down, words. then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master they ran away in terror. Or maybe they got sick or something? But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that if not the Mastermind? Oh, I'm sure that's a record. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. <laughs> that's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for a light conversation. I just found this thing. What is it? That's a bomb. Huh? 
It's what? Hmm. A bomb. This one installed on every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? What? B -b -b bomb That's super bad! We need to get rid of it! Uh, um... Roger that! Hmm. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. What? What? Motion sensor? Are you serious? Ugh. Starting to get a little shaky! Hey, get it together! You're a man, aren't ya? I'm fine! Totally fine! <laughs> You're so not fine! You're all... <laughs> oh, I probably should have mentioned. The motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, man! God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Fuck you. When have we seen the sprite? She got the Morty lips. Don't be mean. Hey, come on! Century's just getting started! Don't call him a race already. When did this, when did this come, come out? out? When did this come out? <sighs> Whatever. Just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hanging on to it's not gonna do anyone any good. Uh, um... Uh, yeah. Good, well. good call. Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Kira put the bomb down. That wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something bad had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? What could that have been? When I thought about it... I couldn't help but think back to the night before. That masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Don't hurt us. Did you hear a thing you just said? Huh? Mm -hmm. So that's a no. What are you, some kind of brain dead farm animal? S sorry. Mm. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. Really? Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance. Wouldn't you agree? But if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there... If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You can be chicken number six. Such ignorance. This is a battle. A fight to the death between us and the Mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah. I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else. We have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away, or are you going to fight? You're right. I'll go with you. Okay then. We're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. I'll follow you anywhere, Master. To all the ends of the Earth. Sakura. If you can hear me, lend me your strength. I like to imagine Hina just has Sakura as a stand now. <laughs> just the ultimate punch ghost. I, I can do this. I'm a man. And I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We each found determination in our own ways. And when we were ready, we left the gym. Our tyrant was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. <sighs> Toko! Hina! Okay. Question. Why was Kyoko and Byakuya making Makoto be the one to solve the cases and put everything together. Cause... Game. Is there like an in-universe lore thing? No. No? No. Tell him, Naegi. Gotcha, gotcha. Hmm. It's locked. As expected. So, what are you gonna do? Isn't it obvious? We're going to tear this door off its hinges. Wait, but the rules say... We've seen that the Mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... 
Use the bomb. Bomb. Bomb bomb. Set the bomb down. Turn the uh, motion sensor on. Walk back. Then have someone just throw something at it. But, like Kota said, Mass 9 did show up while we were there. So in other words... Then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but... We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. So beautiful. I mean... You serious? What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually... Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? The thing in the tool oh, shed. So then. Yeah, the pickaxe! I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Now then, Toko, what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock. So it's probably 9 on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay. Go get the pickaxe and be back here by 901. That's straight up unreasonable. I, 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 by myself? Naturally. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, if it's me and you time, master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that. 10 seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Damn. Unacceptable! I I couldn't I couldn't channel. Unacceptable! It. There you go. There you go. With that, Toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Hey. Oh, I'm just gonna knock this door down. But for real? No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. Trying yeah. To avoid danger. You'll never move forward. So. Hey. So don't get nasty with me whenever I'm play. Whenever we're playing Xenoblade, and I try to kill everything. Bitch. But that's not danger. That's weaklings. Hey, if you're not careful, and the weakest enemy can still kill you. How? Numbers. No. Numbers. The way the fucking game works is if your level is too high, you literally can't even hit the thing. So it works in the opposite way. No. If your level is so high, lower level enemies cannot hit you. <laughs> Facts and logic. <laughs> bless you. Don't bless me. You know what I am. Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Um... Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. So it tends I can hardly talk. Oh, f flub... Flubust? No... Holy frobber... Flat bag... Flap staff... Fap sauce? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Christ. Gross! Where did that come from? Wait, Jill? Where did you come from? Hello, hello. It's the one diferous, murdiferous fiend here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. And this pickaxe I found! Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Seeping imbecile. Oh, master, you wound me with your executive level barbs. Shwa! Here comes the bloody nose! Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega 3 fatty acids! That's what you need! Great for the old memory factory! But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. I see. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> All right, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. Who's the body? What? 
one more mystery? Yep. Now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X. So, um... Now what are you talking about? What are you on about? Did you already forget what we're talking about? Like, missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? I was right. I was right. I was right. I was right. What? What did you find? <laughs> K. Or. Ps. You did you hear me? I said corpse. God damn it. A corpse? Wait a minute. Someone tried to feed the body to a plant. Wait a minute. What? Who's all here right now? Kyoko? Kyoko, no! That's right. I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse? In the garden? Yoko, no! Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. Okay. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... But now, hang on. I saw someone lying on the ground, with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife, buried in their stomach, up to the hilt. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but... That's not Kyoko. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, deadly life. Just to make things clear. Last night, I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they are... I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. I told ya, there's a corpse hanging out here. Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. We need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering your face like that. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. One thing I do know is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up dead in here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. Red? So the pink is just for us. They actually see red. Yeah. E. Cool thing about that, the beta of this game, which was called Distrust, it, it had red blood. It was very, 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 very much darker than, than this. Could you imagine that? Uh, one, one more cool thing about that. Monokuma, instead of being a black and white bear, it was a human anatomy doll with half human, half uh, organs. Yeah. So thank God we got what we got. That would have been a very different game. Very different game. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Um... You say so calm at a time like this. Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden. So I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl at least. How can you tell? Well, I think I see the outline of her chest, and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really, then it could be... Okay then, let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, Wait don't. don't! But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot out toward the mask. And in the ex next instant... 
There's a blinding light and a deafening roar. Oh shit! Jill went flying! She went... Meow. The body... blew up. It blew up, 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 it blew up! My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out, but then... Hurry up. Put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Swoosh. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I guess that took care of it. What the hell, man? It exploded? What did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... What? It's burned to a crisp! And it's well beyond done, man! Don't compare it to a steak! I'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? Who isn't here right now? Huh? We consider who's not here. I will quickly narrow down who it must be. There's only one person missing. Kyoko never had her nails painted. She always wore gloves. Go. And that dead body is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words, the mastermind. What? The mastermind? Oh, come on, there's no way the mastermind got charboiled. Get serious. <laughs> I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering, but I have a reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But, but that corpse is a girl, right? Doesn't make any sense. I mean, what alter- remember what alter ego said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. What the heck? He said the mastermind was some middle-aged dude, right? Which of course is obviously isn't. Then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? huh? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... Mukuro Ikusaba, 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. Watch out for her. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. There's another student here, and it's a female that would match the body's characteristics. And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Okay, so, mastermind is a girl named, is this girl Mugoro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But if she's hiding here in the school, like some teenage Bigfoot, uh, she wind up burnt to a crisp. What the heck? None of this makes any sense. They just suddenly show up and then die. Hmm. I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah, uh, uh, hey, wait. What? Um. Aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko. Oh yeah, she got blown up, didn't she? 
Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Jesus Christ! Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. What just happened, Master? You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. What the heck? This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. Alright. Well, I think with that, we'll end it there. What the fuck is going on? I'm genuinely surprised she survived. Mm-hmm. So is this Mukuro Ikusawa? Wait. Jill was the one out, right? She got knocked out and then transferred back. So She could not have walked away from that without some sort of brain damage. Maybe. Did we just kill Genocide Jill? We might have. Oh god, we just killed Genocide Jill, didn't we? That's a win in my book. But she was the fun one. Yeah. I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you next time when we find out what the hell is going on. No, we won't. No, we won't. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.